everyone, it's Tracy. Welcome back to my channel. So this photo is of my great niece. She is sitting on one of those little, little tykes or something similar, kitchen set. She's like sitting on the edge where the sink would be. And she's reading some sort of a magazine. Now, I have no idea how this comes to be, but these girls love to read and they will read uh, any which way wherever they feel comfortable and uh, yeah to be sitting with just a diaper on on the edge of the kitchen sink is where she wants to be so i am using that doily which i mentioned in my kit reveal that i wasn't sure if i was going to be able to use it it's not my favorite but i'm going to try it here and actually it stays and i look for everything i look everything that i put in my kit um, i like to use as many layers as i can for my photo this time around and um and it's going to have a lot of blue. Now, the reason why I ended up doing the photo in black and white, that it was like overwhelmingly pink. Everything in there was so pink and it was hard to really see what she was doing. And so I thought if I could just tone it down and um, it looks much better. Now, this is a four by four photo. This is something that my niece had posted on Instagram. So that is the size that really shows up better, uh, you know, to do, uh, you know, whenever you print them out. So this is the first time that I'm using a Gesso Clear. It is from Art Basics and it is from, I think it's from Prima. Let's see. I got it. Um... I think I ordered it from scrapbook.com and I started putting it on with my little plastic spatula and rubbed my fingers in it and it made the paper just a little bit darker. It's it and it warped it a little bit because this is pretty thin paper. And now I am using my Vicky Booten art crayons and my little stencil brush and my stencil and I I am doing um, different colors, different shades of purple. And I think I'm pulling a blue or a blue green in there. That's a light blue. And I wanted to at least incorporate part of that because the blue is, um, you know, most of the papers that I'm using. And I try to do it like where I know where my, you know, where the photo is going to be and kind of hide it so that if I, don't like it you know I'm not committed to it and so I'm just kind of you know um, I don't know adding some color adding some dimension now I'm going to add some sprinkles here And I'm using the little acetate. It's a pretty thick acetate that came with those stencil brushes. I really like that. It's thicker than any other acetate, acetate piece that I have. And now I'm going to outline my papers. I don't know why I did that little piece of paper right there because that's not the, the piece that I use for my page. But, you know, for the next page, for the next layout that I do, it will be ready. And I, as you can see, that I had cut... Uh, some angled pieces to go at the top and the bottom. I know you can't see the top piece right now, but I'll bring it back down. And that little, um, it's a clear sticker. It says it's a girl thing and it's going to end up right down there in the bottom right hand corner. And of course using my ATG gun. Loving that. And I just used just a little sliver of this paper, which is my, you know, the paper that I had used for my, um, the kit was based off of that. So I did want to incorporate that. And I'm hoping that I can use that in all four layouts. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, we'll see. And. I find that I say that a lot. We'll see. We'll see. 
I'll work on that. All right, just placing all my photos, I mean, in the mats and everything. And because I thought that this was pretty funny, um, I chose to use Ha Ha down there where it says it's a girl thing. And I don't really like it like that. Of course, I don't have it lined up right. Um, I decided just to leave it there for a minute. I'm going to think on it. And now I'm using my Vicki Booten, uh, those uh, foam words. Oh, I love those. Those are just great. And this is where I'm going to get the title of my page. I'm going to get everything placed here. It is so nice using up these scraps. I do have a limit, like it has to be a certain size for it to be a scrap, unless it's like a color that I absolutely love and I just need like a smidge of something. Um, but most pieces, if they're not, you know, a certain size, they don't make the cut. They end up in the trash. Putting a couple layers of the cardboard, which is what I like to use for adding some dimension instead of those foam sheets that I can't stand. So I am choosing Life is Good. That's going to be the title of my page. And I think this is pretty appropriate. I think it's pretty funny. And I don't even know what all of these little cardboard uh, chipboard pieces say it came in I think I got it last fall winter ish in probably a blooper blooper kit and it's purple and it says yep with the exclamation point and let's see Oh, I'm still going through my little baggie. You can't see it, but I'm just trying to figure out what to do. I do use that heart, and this is where I'm going to put the haha. -ha. And I put it on there correctly. Or well, at least I think I do. So I end up cutting out this tag. And I don't do any journaling on it. I told my niece that I would let her do the journaling, you know, if she wanted to. I didn't really leave a lot of space for her to do that either. Sorry, Erica. But um, I'm just trying to go through some things, try to put it all together. I love this little, it's black with white polka dots in different sizes. And it's a little banner. And then this is um it's a heart it's a like a lavender heart and it's gonna stay right there and then there's a little flower it's kind of a peachy color it actually is a peachy pink it's the same color as the doily so it's it goes where that is and then i'm using a brad it's a purple brad That was a challenge, you know, to pull something out that you don't use very often. So that's what I chose to use this time is the purple brad. And I do use another brad and it's going to go over on the left side of the photo. Now, you, I hope everyone knows that it is better to glue down chipboard. Um, they do come with some adhesive, but... Just from experience, we know that the glue adhesive is not strong enough. So this one that's on the left-hand side is a flower-shaped brad, and it's pink with white imprint on it. And then where I am presently is where the little purple brad is. Okay, I like to put some washi tape on the back of my page where the prongs of the brads are so they don't get hung up 
as I'm putting them in and out of sheet protectors. And the next thing, um, I think I have to get a phrase and I find one, uh, it's a little long, so I trim the front and the back and it says, are you kidding me? And then I do add some sprinkles. I use night moves. It's not black. It's a really, really dark gray. And I put down some um, plastic clam. I forget what it's called, like a clamshell that we get in our packaging. And that way nothing gets on my, my photo. And then I'm adding sequins and I'm using the Dreamland collection and I don't make you watch me glue them down, but here it is. It's completed. And I want to thank you for watching this. And if you haven't already subscribed, I'd love to have you. If you'll leave me a thumbs up and a comment, it would be greatly appreciated. All right, guys, you have an awesome day. And thanks, Becky. You are so sweet for the shout out. Um, I am enjoying doing this kit. Okay, see ya. Bye-bye.